G'day Jason, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota Cairns, mate. Just gonna run over this Prado Kakadu a little bit for you. Um, before I do so, mate, a bit about us. So Pacific Toyota uh, pre-owned vehicles runs two premium uh, vehicle yards. Um, we also offer on-site flexible finance options, as you can see by the nice sign there. We run with Toyota Finance, which is the largest automotive financier in Australia, which means with bulk buying a finance, we get really competitive interest rates. Um, and it's very rare we miss against the big banks. Mate, um, we do run our new vehicle showroom that's just been renovated in 2017, brand new, um, as well as Lexus of Cairns. Um, we actually deliver over 125 new vehicles out of that showroom month on average. Um, over to the right of it, as you can see, we're trying to go green with the solar panels. That's our service centre. Um, it's actually the largest automotive service centre in Cairns. Um, we're servicing over 100 cars a day. Um, so we're a one-stop shop, we can organise everything for you and we also accept trade-ins um, as well, as long as they're drivable. Um, now back to the vehicle, this being a Kakadu Prado, top of the range in the class of Prados. Um, it's in the ebony black, so not the Eclipse, so it's nice and easy. It's a beautiful colour car. Um, look, as you can see with the front grille, you've got the uh, badge encased in a gel coating. Um, the reason for that is that's actually what we call a millimetre wave sensor for your adaptive cruise control in the vehicle. As well as that, it has a round view cameras, so you can see the front camera just sitting on there. Um, so really good when you're coming into car parks, um, being the size of the vehicle, just makes it really easy to manoeuvre. Um, along with the camera, it measures distance with the parking sensors on here, um, which you can see just there. So they run four on the front, um, making it nice and easy for parking. The outer ones do sort of you're out of vicinity so that way it sort of acts like a almost a peripheral vision slash uh, sensor um, keeping the width in the car safe as well so just down the sides and everything um, you've also got your uh, headlight washers so at night if your headlights are on and you wash your windscreen these jets would also activate spraying soapy water onto your um, headlights um, thus at speed we'll clean them and you know loosen any bugs that are on it um, keeping the LED lighting quite clear because um, obviously it works with a focus lens in which you can see in there. Um, the vehicle for its age is in really good condition. Um, as you see, there's a little, few little watermarks on the bonnet. Um, look what I just said, spoke to my manager. He said what we'll do is we'll run the buff over and do our absolute best um, to see whether we can get as much of that out for you. If it is a concern, obviously the vehicle isn't brand new. Um, I'm just trying to find as much marks over the vehicle as possible so I can be as transparent. Um, but all in all for the condition, it's in really good condition this vehicle. Um, if you come down to the tyres, plenty of tread sitting on there. Um, so, you know, less maintenance. Um, they're running hand cooks on them and they are an all-terrain tyre. Um, as you come around with your side mirrors, this is where your side cameras sit. So you can see them just sitting under there in that little housing. Um, so that makes up the around view cameras on the car. Um, keep coming around just trying to show the panelling of the vehicle. Um, that just came straight off that mark. It's so reflective that you can't really see the colour. Um, just trying to show you all there. Inside of the vehicle, it's been really well looked after for its age. Um, as you can see, those are the seats. This is the most common area that you need to check. Um, it's all in relatively really good condition. Um, as you can see all through there. Just going to try and run over as much of this as possible, this seat. That was the driver's side. I'll run over on the other side of it as well once I come around the car. It's just really good condition. All the dash and that there. Just all in really good condition for this vehicle. So it runs the wood grain being the top of the range. Um, I will run over the technology once I get around to the driver's side. But just the door cards through here. A lot of what you normally want to look for is your scratch marks on here, but as you see for its age, it's in really good condition. Um, service history as well, so we do have books on the vehicle. Um, so I'm just going to run over this with you. Um, so it was a local car to Cairns um, by where it was sold, going off the, the sold sticker. Um, so I'm just getting you servicing. So first service, that's actually the second service. So first service done, was done at 5,600 Ks for us here at Pacific Toyota. Um, second service done at 15,990 Ks through Pacific Toyota. Um, next one, 25,000 kilometers done through Pacific Toyota. Just go over the page. Is there another one in there? 
which there is. Um, 31,000 K service done through Pacific Toyota Cans here. Um, next one as well, 36,000 Ks done through Pacific Toyota as well. Um, next one's at 46,000 Ks done through Pacific Toyota. Um, and then we've just done uh, recently on the 27th of the 2nd, uh, 54,000 K engine oil filter um, and cabin filter through Pacific Hino, um, which is a part of our group. Um, so Pacific Toyota owns opposite lock, Pacific Hino and Coral Motors. Um, so we are a group up here and they looked after the servicing for that one. So all the books are in there. Um, headphones as well, as you can see just there. So all the headphones are in really good condition. Just trying to show you some there. Um, and you do have the remote as well. Um, so everything is there um, for the vehicle, um, for the DVD players and all the controls and everything. So that comes in handy, it's very rare to find. They're usually the first things to go missing. Um, once again, back seat of the vehicle. I'm just gonna run over this leather. Like I said, everything's in really good condition. It's a local car, we've looked after it its whole life maintenance wise, going by the service books. Um, so reliability is gonna be huge there, being that a Toyota dealer's looked after it. Trying to show you all the condition of the seats. Door card on this side as well, so there's a few little scratches in there. Nothing too major. Like I said, it's uh, sort of a brand new vehicle, but for its condition, it's really complimentary to the owner of the vehicle, or the previous owner of the vehicle, I should say. Just the back of the seats. If you've got kids, that's usually where you find a few bumps and bruises, but all in all, really good condition. On the back of the, uh, the, the center console, you can see the controls for the AC. Because it's the Kakadu as well, the outer two seats in the rear here, uh, they run uh, heaters in them, being high, low, and off, They're the outer side settings there. Um, and then you've got the auto climate control that can be controlled for all the vents in the roof. Um, so the vents run one, two, and obviously reciprocating on the other side, so four in total. And as you can see, your DVD player just there cool thing about this DVD player is it runs the JBL surround sound system. It's almost better than most sound around systems in your house. Um, and a Blu-ray DVD player up there as well. Um, and SD card slots, so nice and easy. So a little armrest in here is nice and accommodating. Cup holders uh, all through there. I'll just keep coming around the car just to try and show you as much condition of the vehicle as possible. So due to the lovely heat, you can see the sticker um, has, uh, has come off um, just there. I, I can always speak to management about getting a replacement sticker if possible, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, around to the side of the car, or the back of the car, once again, just trying to get as much of the condition as possible. So it hasn't obviously towed, there's no tow bar on the vehicle, which is something these cars are designed to do. Um, so the car looks like it's had an easy life for what it is. Rear seats, um, so it is a seven seater there, you can see them up. Good thing about the Kakadu is they are electric up and down. Um, so if I was just to press the little controls on the side here, that seat will then start going down, just like so. So it makes it nice and easy, especially if you are forever needing the extra seats. Um, it's just a matter of pressing that button, they'll both go down. It is a two step um, because it can recline, so that's what the other settings are just there. On the back of them, uh, you'll see those silver rails. They're actually designed to have adjustable uh, tie downs in them. You can get them from your local Toyota dealer parts department. They don't come standard with the vehicle from you, um, but they are as an accessory. So basically you, you slot the mechanism in through the bigger hole there, and then it will slide in and you can maneuver in the top ones, um, allowing you to tie down uh, at certain sort of items. Um, seat belts are all nice and tucked away. It's a little quirky thing that Toyota do, but the benefit of it is if you are doing off-roading, um, it won't, uh, how could you say, rattle or make any additional noises through there. Um, in the side here is where all your tools are for your jack. Um, and then your jack lives just in this corner on here. And you can see your miniature subwoofer just there for your JBL sound system. So don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty confident it runs 11 speakers in this vehicle. The 11th being the subwoofer. Um, 100 watt inverter built in as well, so just there. Um, so once again, uh, nice and accommodating, especially if you want to do a bit of recreational. Um, with the door itself, if you're on uh, hills, you've got to lock and unlock. So if you put it to the lock, it just means if your vehicle's on an angle, that door can not shut, um, you know, protecting it. So especially if you've got kids, um, you don't want to get their fingers jammed or even you know, trying to get the esky out of the back, not fighting it. Um, so the rear boot, just going to give you a bit more of an outlook of the car. It's a great colour. Just trying to get it 
nice and close so you can see all the condition of the paint. Look at the mark there, don't have to come off, that's good. Okay, let's come around the side here. So once again, it runs rear sensors um, on the vehicle, so you can see them through there, um, as well as your rear reversing camera, which is sitting just in there as well. Um, so the hard case for your spare tire definitely makes the car look more appealing. Looks like it all suits and blends really nicely. Um, once again, same with the sticker on the other side that I spoke about. Um, I'm always happy to speak to management in that. Um, like I said, just trying to show you the condition of the vehicle. Looks like there's a little bit of a mark there. See, yeah, that's coming off. It's actually been nice and easy. Once again, all coming off just from being polished for a detail. Once again, a car, there is a little bit of a mark on this door. It's probably the biggest one I've found so far. Like I said, for the age of the vehicle, it's a really big compliment to the previous owners. Door cards as well. All in really good condition for this vehicle. As you see, there's a few little marks on it. They just come off, there's no marks there. Um, there's a bit of fluff there on the leather. Back seat of the driver's side. It's just all really, really well looked after. Like I said, local car to Cairns, full Pacific Toyota service history on it. Shut that down. Okay, the main driver's side. So this is where all the controls are. Um, so on the door card here, which is obviously the main one used for the driver, as you can see, all in relatively, yeah, relatively really great condition. Um, all through there. You've then got your all your window controls, lock and, uh, and unlock for the vehicle. You've got your memory settings for your driver's seat. Um, so basically, if there's two of you, you can program how you like it. Now, these have a few more controls for electric seats. So it runs your lumbar, your tilt. You can do the front up and down and the back up and down as well, as well as backwards and forwards. So giving you more maneuverability um, and better for the ergonomics of the driver. Controls through here. So it is a push button start vehicle or your electric mirrors. This one here is actually for your um, dimming of your internal lighting. Um, so underneath your side skirts or just here, there's little lights um, on the door cards and that adjusts that ambient lighting there at night time. Once again, to wash your front headlights, you can press that button there during the day. Otherwise at night time, it does it automatically when your headlights are on. Um, and then you've got your idle up there in case it gets really cold and will sort of blow five degrees. Your idle up basically ups the revs, gets the car to its performance temperature faster, especially if you were ever towing. Um, headlights are auto on the vehicle. Um, so as you can see just there, auto headlights. We've currently got them off at the moment because um, it's daytime. You then got your window washers on this side as well. Now they're all automatic. Um, on the steering wheel itself, um, all the controls for the screen to the left here um, is on the left hand side of the steering wheel. And then down here you've got your um, uh, round view camera switch so while driving forward slowly you can access the front camera um, at one side and then if you press it again you get the two side cameras. Um, this side controls all the multi-information display in between your speedo and revs. Um, basically just a navigating system there um, in order to get through the different screens. Um, you then got your Bluetooth um, answer and hanger, as well as your voice recognition and adaptive cruise control just there. Um, so all nice and easy, plenty of technology in the vehicle. Um, so it runs a big display on it. That is also a satellite navigation screen and where your reverse camera displays. Um, down to your air control, so it runs a tri-zone air control system. So the front two passengers can have their two different temperatures, with the rear having their own as well. Um, so depending on which way they like it set up. This one little here is really good for far north Queensland. If anyone suffers from hay fever, that's an extra pollen filter. Um, so basically the car will run through an additional filter, um, getting through any small particles, um, dust, stuff like that. Um, also known as a pollen filter. Coming down here, you've got your multi-terrain selector system. Um, so that's a series of full drive systems as well as comfort and driving. Um, so I'll start at the top left here. So basically that one there is telling you to turn off the uh, adjustable suspension that can go up and down. And the one to the right of it is using your adjustable suspension. So the way it works is you can sit lower 
um, while driving. Um, but what it's designed to do is to lower, go up to a trailer, then raise it to the top, it'll pick up the trailer and then you can go and, and continue the hitch itself. Um, otherwise, if you're trying to get over a track, um, you can raise it um, for that short time. But once you exceed the speed of 15 k's an hour, that will come back down to its neutral driving height. Um, then got your multi-terrain selector. So multi-terrain selector um, works with this dial here and the screen up here. And it will say basically uh, mud and sand, gravel, um, etc., or rocks, um, and that will determine what speed the car will travel at. You can then manually do that with crawl controls. So crawl controls designed to make the car crawl, so it will actually break one wheel while turn the other one, looking for traction or finding traction. If you're doing a YouTubing on crawl control system with Toyota, it's actually designed if you were chassis out on sand, um, the car is able to put sand underneath the tires, raise itself and drive out of its situation. Obviously this does depend on the situation the car's in. Um, each factor would be varying. Um, but this style will then control the speed in which you have that crawl control set at there. Center diff lock and rear diff lock in these, so really good. Um, you wouldn't use this with your, you wouldn't use your rear diff lock and your crawl control together. They sort of uh, would be working against each other. Um, but if you're doing some real rock climbing, slow stuff and low range, then your rear diff lock and center diff lock will really come in handy um, at putting the traction down on the ground. Um, your way of changing between H4 and low 4 is just this dial here. So you'd come into neutral, a complete stop with your foot on the brake and then able to push that dial in and go down to low range. Um, over to the, the left-hand side, so because you run airbag rear suspension, you've got uh, three settings. Uh, normal, which is currently sitting at, which is neutral. Sports, which basically allows the car to run firmer, more responsive, less body roll with the KDSS system being kinetic dynamic suspension system. And then you go down to your comfort. Um, so obviously everything's going to be a bit looser, really good for the long trips, keeping everyone comfortable. A um, little bit of storage down here further. You then got all your gear sticks, so it's nice and easy. Um, as you can see, your controls on there, back, reverse, and then you get your sequential driving mode. So you can do manual mode, which means you can take the load off the brakes coming down hills, etc. Um, you've also got your heat seaters, uh, heat seaters, seat heaters. Um, so you can adjust your temperatures just there, um, as well as USB connectivity and auxiliary and your 12 volt power supply. Um, so that's everything in there. The other good thing about the Kakadu is you do have a built in fridge box. Um, so as you can see that there, it's got room for four cans. Um, it can roughly fit seven in it, um, which is, works out perfectly. Um, so that's all that in there. I'll just go one last view around the vehicle for you and that will conclude the virtual tour. Too easy, Jason, mate. Well, any questions, mate, signal out. Um, hopefully, I haven't missed anything, um, and I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you.